you look good. All for you, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Sketchy lap bands, bad implants, and plumped hot dogs. Get ready to laugh because today we are breaking down and reacting to all the absurd medical scenes and over the top injuries to one of my all time favorite TV shows, The Simpsons number 10. All right, let's dive right in. This lie has made Bart a new man and it's giving me anxiety attacks. <sighs> relax, relax. Ooh, so anxious. What's this? Hi. You've got bumpies. Lisa is having a panic attack. She definitely suffers from anxiety as well. So anxiety is just being anxious, nervous, kind of a little bit on edge versus panic attack is when that anxiety just goes through the roof. Hmm. Sometimes tension hives are the result of inner stress. Another word for hives is urticaria. Swelling, an itch. Sometimes we'll have it as an allergic reaction but stress can actually bring it on. I'm going to prescribe some sleepy and dopey children's chewable Xanax. Xanax, these medications are very short acting, fast on, fast off. There are other ways to go about dealing with anxiety, talking to a counselor, a therapist, a psychologist. I don't want my daughter on meds. Nice. You seem upset, Marge. Talk to your doctor about troxidone. You are my doctor. Well, 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 fancy that. <laughs> This is going to turn your life into an oasis of peaceful zombitude. Oh my god, troxidone. It's not even a medication that I've heard of to prescribe. We have trazodone, which is like basically another sedative type medication. Side effects may include bleeding out your ears, Portuguese insolence, wandering eyebrow, intense longing for death, and seeing yourself as others see you. <laughs> Every medication that we prescribe has a side effect and has a negative aspect. But the question ends up being, are you taking the medication for the benefits that totally outweigh all the potential negatives? Oh my God, stomach stapling, meaning having its you know stomach shrunken so it's super small and taking it, the piece off so it's stapling most of the other part closed. And basically all that is doing is decreasing the amount of food that you can intake. Okay, we put the band around your stomach so that no solid food may enter. You see, just like so. <laughs> You can do a, what's called a lap band, laparoscopic procedure, and they put a band around a certain part of your stomach where they can actually fill it up with water and actually access it through a port that's just under your skin. If you wish, we can perform the procedure in the office today. And I know how I can knock myself out. Oh, look at your bill. Hmm. Typically, if you're going to have surgery such as this, you're going to be intubated and they probably don't want you to have any food in your stomach for at least six to eight hours so you can reduce the risk of aspiration. You don't want to inhale possible vomit from the food that's still in your stomach. I think it's considering all the training you've received, this is quite reasonable. I've never seen anything so reasonable. It's the bargain of a lifetime. And... Uh, I think that was being facetious, but a plastic surgeon does go to college. You go to medical school and then they go to residency for a very long time. You know, they're charging based on if somebody has insurance or if they don't have insurance, I bet they have different actual billing costs. Kids, your daddy underwent a special procedure so he can be more attractive to your mother. You had your hot dog plumped? No, I had my stomach stapled. <laughs> not expecting that. I'm assuming they're talking about his penis when relating to the hot dog and had it plump. There's really not any procedures that really make your penis any bigger. Oh my gosh. Oh. Just after having the procedure, the band is really tight and they may have it to where you actually have to blend or puree. You can't have any solid foods for a short period of time. Do you like guys who are attractive? Homie, you look good. All for you, baby. <laughs> So if you lose weight too quickly, your skin does not have enough time to shrink as well because this the skin has different type of elastic fibers within them. Sometimes people will require to have skin removal surgeries because there's so much extra skin. Doctor, I'm embarrassed to show my body to my wife and it's all because of your surgery. You want me to unstaple your stomach? <laughs> That is a staple remover. That's it's huge and really funny, but no, they don't really use staples. No, I want you to give me every other surgery you have so I can look good. 
And can you call it an aortic valve replacement so my insurance will cover it? No problem. Ah, there you go. Your aortic valve pumps out the blood. So a lot of times people need that replaced because it gets really stiff and you're not able to get the blood to go out and then you can actually get backflow of blood. That's typically covered under insurance versus cosmetic surgeries are typically not. Hence, that's why they're trying to get it covered. They are inducing him, meaning starting the anesthesia by gas. Typically it's actually done with an injection of medications and then you're actually kept asleep with the anesthetic gas. And that way it's easy to come right off and control a little bit easier. I bestow upon Marge Simpson this hundred dollar gift card, two sweatpants, etc. Did someone order a super stud? <laughs> Look at him! My implants feel itchy. Oh, yes, that's I not was good. out of silicone rubber, so I used rolled up socks. What? Rolled up socks? Yep, that's a lawsuit waiting to happen. I've seen some bad videos of people injecting different things into their muscles, which is really bad. Smith is? What's the meaning of this slacking off? Uh, there's a bee in my eye, sir. You don't want to be stung by your eye because then it might swell up, puncture into the globe, increase risk of infection, risk of losing the eye, like holy cow. I'm allergic to bee stings. Oh, and he's allergic to bee stings. If you have allergies to things that potentially are life-threatening, have an EpiPen on. Perhaps you could paddle for just a little while, sir. Quite impossible. You can try to bat him off if you like. Uh, <laughs> really, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> He smacks him in the face, but the bee got pissed off and stung him, and now he instantaneously like becomes limp. It can happen quick, but not that quick. It could be over in just a couple minutes. Get, me Get there! To a hospital. You have. Uh, Which one? <laughs> oh man! Help! Help. Oh, Doctor Nick. Smokes. You need booze. They thought he was intoxicated. We get so many people that are dropped off at the hospital and we literally have to start from zero, try to figure out what's going on. So airway, breathing, circulation, then, you know, checking to see what the blood sugar is, checking potential alcohol level. <laughs> oh my, what is this green stuff? <laughs> what's wrong with us? Oh, I don't like the looks of this. You don't? Cause that's what I said. Tell her, bud. The only time I ever see green on a human is related to something called pseudomonas. The pseudomonas infection is a type of bacteria that on the bandages, you'll actually see like bluish green. We better check with a doctor. Yeah. Welcome to Virtual Doctor. A lot of times nowadays, it's really hard to get into the doctor's office, but you can at least like talk to the doctor and get advice. Enter, Enter symptoms, symptoms now. now. Let's see, crusty sores. Yes. Horrible wailing? Yes! Yes! Any exposure to unsanitary conditions? Duh! We're pigs! Okay, and diagnose. You've got leprosy. Leprosy! Oh my gosh, I've never seen leprosy, and typically it's more of a chronic infection. The Simpsons always drop some good knowledge on us, and very interesting, and with a little bit of a twist, with some humor. We're still having merch, so check it out in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you binge watch this entire video series right here. Hit that subscribe button, turn your bell notifications on, and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching, and stay healthy, my friends.